Hey guys, I'm in front of uh, Dollarama. I'm gonna go in here and do a little uh, Halloween movie hunting. Uh, this is where Mr. Minocchio had went, I think yesterday. I'm gonna put a link to his, vandal, to his, to his video <laughs> in the description box so you can see what he picked up. Let's see if I can cross the street and get hit. And hopefully I can uh, find some movies worth picking up. Thanks. Alright, so there's some movies here, but this isn't the horror stuff. So there must be a bin somewhere. Alright, this must be it. So we got some mongrel stuff here. Not any tray hole, maybe. Three Extremes 2, which I think is the original three. This is death, True Crimes, and Twisted Minds. I'm not sure what that is. This isn't even a horror movie. Inside. Frozen. Picking up the devil's hand. Oh, let's see here. We got grabbers, which I wish I had waited to get that. Shredder, did like that one. This is a Toby Hooper movie. Virus X. The Hitcher 2. These fun hours. It's DVD. VHS Viral. Hey guys, I'm at the second location. They, they don't seem to be doing uh, bins this year. This one has different movies than the other one. This is Species 4 for 250. They got Clues of the Dam, that's a regular edition. Lost Things, Zombie Apocalypse, Random Acts of Violence, which I picked up last year. Some of the stuff is different than the other one. It's a copy of Frozen. Uh, the Frozen has a slipcover. Butterfly effect. Cold oh, blooded. This one looks interesting. I don't think it's a horror though. The Haunting of Westchester House in 3D. There's a couple. The Eye remake. Teresa, which I thought was okay. This one was happy, so I'm looking for this one. This is the remake uh, to uh, Maximum Overdrive. The Zombie Woman of Satan. This one looks kind of cheap, but let me pick it up. Alright guys, I'm at the local mall here. This is my third location, probably the final for the day. Crooked Lake. It's a different one. We've got a Goosebumps movie here. I think. No, nope, we don't have this one. That's a good price for Welcome to the Dead House. The Dead Undead. Byzantium. It's the first time I've seen this in the pile anywhere. Absolutely. 
just keep one. The second better pie effect movie. Burning bright. I think this is like a it's like a tiger trapped in a house type movie. Let's see if we got one over here. Some people move some stuff around here. There's the dam again. This seems to be the same stuff. The host. This is uh, just a collection of that. It's actually a good price. I already have it. American Horror Stories. I think uh, Aaron Pin picked this up. There's the Day of the Dead remake. Let's see. Spear House again. Twisted Sisters. Of course, was halfway decent. It's like they have under the skin. That's a good price for that too. Amityville Horror. Oh, Amityville 3D. See, Stir of Echoes 2. Another village of the dam. I think. Let's go check. I think I went through all this stuff now. I guess that's it, guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick anything up here. But uh, I guess we'll we'll see. Alrighty then. We are back. And this is the pickup portion of the video. Hopefully some of the stuff that I shot is usable. So if you've seen the out and about portion, that means I thought it was okay enough to, to show you guys. Um, I ended up going to four stores, but I only bought stuff from three of them. And the last one, I didn't film anything at all, yeah, for whatever reason. It's really odd they didn't decide to go with bins this year, and they were kind of hidden with uh, the other Halloween decorations and candy at the Dollaramas. So I don't know if that's what they're doing now. So if, you, if you're in Canada or Ontario region, um, you're going to have to hunt for these movies because they're not as uh, displayed as well as they were last year. Um, I'm kind of happy with what I got at, with what I got this time around. It was some of the titles were different than were out last year. There were some things that I really wanted to get that uh, I passed on last year, but uh, uh, I'm not quite done yet. I think I'm gonna go like um, probably next weekend again or whatever, because like these things were gone pretty quickly last year, and I think that's gonna happen again this year. All right, so enough of me babbling. Um, I'll show you what I got. And at the first store, I picked up the Devil's Hand. Been interested in pick, checking this one out for a bit. I think it's like a, a possession type thing about these girls that sort of acting up in a small town. This one stars Jennifer Carpenter. Been wanting to get this one for a bit. And I think it's really cool this one actually comes with a slip cover because a lot of them didn't. There's a lot of different variations on stuff like that at the these stores. All right, next up we have a sequel. And that's Ripper 2, Letters from Hell. This is a Canadian uh, horror movie. I remember seeing the uh, first film many, many years ago. It was about a girl that was kind of nuts and she was killing off her classmates. I think this character is now is like in an institution and I think she starts killing again in there or something like that. But I'm interested in checking this one out as well. Although it's probably not too good of a movie, but $2.50 is a good price point for something like this. Alright, next we have another sequel. And that's VHS Viral. Um... The only reason why I picked this one up is because I had the first two. I've heard a lot of bad things about this one, but I still want to see it. And two dollars and fifty cents is a good, is like a rental price, pretty much. So I figured, you know, I can have it, and that way I can complete the set. Uh, this one I think is more um, internet based as opposed to uh, VHS based for some reason. All right, now at the next store, I only picked up two films, and that is. Zombie Woman of Satan. This one looks really, like, really cheesy. Hopefully it's a lot of fun. It looks like it's a budget release too. But, um, again, had this been 20 bucks, I definitely would have passed on it. But at this price range, it's the kind of thing that was probably worth checking out. And we have The Damned. Um, this is a possession film. And this one's actually kind of cool. It's these kids uh, that are in, uh, 
think they're uh, a holiday in, in uh, Spain and something happens and they end up at this house and this guy's got this girl walked up and they release her and they pretty much shouldn't have is pretty much what this comes down to. I did enjoy this one. Um, this is another mongrel release, although in uh, in the States this is an IFC Midnight release and uh, they have the thing down there. I was hoping they would have um, Almost Human in this sale because I've been looking at picking that one up for a bit and it'd be great to get it for $2.50. This one's been on my wish list for a bit too so I almost paid a lot more than uh, this price for it. Now, at the last store I got a couple of um, a couple of uh, anthology films. So first up, we have Visions of Horror, which is, I guess it has seven films. This one looks really, really cheap. Um, it almost looks like a dollar store release, although it is uh, through Alliance, which used to be a really big distributor in Canada before uh, E1 bought them out. So hopefully this one's halfway decent. Uh, this one's hosted by Tiffany Sheppis, so she must be the host in between the, uh, the short films. And last up, we have Trapped Ashes, and I picked this one up mainly because of the directors that were involved. Um, you got Sean Cunningham from Friday the 13th, Joe Dante from um, Gremlins and um, Piranha, and obviously The Howling, um, Monty Hellman, and Ken Russell. Um, this John Gaeta, I never really heard of him before, but I guess these five people are trapped in this uh, haunted house and they're forced to tell stories, kind of like a... The uh, anthology films from the 70s, or always stuff like that. This one's got a, a bunch of special features on it. So, and there's only one cop. These two, these last two, I've only really seen at the one place. There's still a couple more dollaramas I need to check out before it's all said and done, because these things were gone within a couple of weeks, and um, not too people know about them. So, I guess that's it. And I like to give a shout out to my man, Mr. Malocchio, because. Um, I wasn't sure they were really doing it hardcore yet because they, well, the first couple of pickups I got from the previous update video, they weren't in any special bin. But there was those there was a lot of a lot of Blu-rays there where there's less Blu-rays this time around. But again, I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description box so you can check out his pickups, and hopefully he'll do some more before the season's up. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.